gotta do it again. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to record. keep clicking record i'm not gonna click, click, click keep clicking the song either what's you up just do the everybody intro. it's rusty and lee from champions chat we are an hour and a half deep into the stream and we're gonna do a blog read for you the rise of la nah eight night <laughs> nah eight nerf right. so let's get started um mm. champions it's la night nah nah with his highly anticipated shards debut and let us tell you there are plenty of them did you hear that there are plenty of them collect them throughout this week undead rewards on the prize wall lee do you have a brain attention i i i'm not sure sometimes anymore but i think i do what if I told you there was going to be a special offer that didn't even require a brain? It's a no brain what? offer. Well, I, I, I'm in. I, tell me more, friend. <laughs> you can get 800 LA Knight nah, shards for just $10 at WWEchampions.com this weekend. So your first 800 shards of LA Knight, you're going to get on the cheap for 10 bones. Isn't that incredible? I do like that offer. Very, very like. Uh, please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment. Text numbers, items, and dates are subject to change. Some parts of the contest might still be a work in progress, so don't <laughs> harass your content creator about it. So check the end game for the latest numbers and items once the contest has started. Tell us about this schedule, Lee. It is wild. Well. There is a lot of things going on, including my echo, so I apologize. Just consider it the ghost of Christmas past. All right, so we got a solo contest starting on 1025. According to right now's time frame, that is tomorrow at noon Pacific time. And it ends on 1028 at noon Pacific time. We got a faction contest that also starts tomorrow and also ends 1028. But that one says it ends midnight Pacific time, not at noon. So be aware of that. Battlegrounds competition, 1025 at noon, ends 1027 at 6 p.m. So you got to watch all these ending times in the game because they're all different. And then we got four war score competitions for your flash feuds. The first one starts 1025 at noon pacific time ends 10 26 at 3 a.m that's a long feud but that might not be the right time frame yet that's just the overarching event uh war score 2 10 26 at 3 a.m and then goes till 10 26 at 1 p.m specifically pacific time as the professor would say war score 3 10 26 at 1 p.m 10 27 for the end at 1 a.m and then war score for 1027 at 1 a.m. going until 1027 at 1 p.m. And then you got your flash feuds, which are overarchingly going from 1025 at 6 p.m. to 1027 at noon Pacific time. Rusty, what do we get if we take part in all of that goodness this weekend? Reward highlights. Yeah. What are they? I've been waiting to eat this one chip and salsa for a very long time, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Do you right. want me to ver what, run through this, Rusty? We've got LA Knight shards work in progress, but so far we're seeing a thousand of his regular shards in the solo milestones, 500 regular in the faction contest, a thousand in the battleground competition. In the premium, we've got 700 in the solo milestones, 600 in the web shop events. 200 more in the offers and that no brainer offer we told you about earlier 800 more shards with that then nice. some of us are still looking for your zombie bailey we got 200 regular shards in the faction contest and 200 yeah. solo milestones i wish for all of you to recruit her before feud three when you'll need her also we are chasing Zombie Brett, 75 regular shards in the solo milestones, 75 in the premium. And guess who's back on the prize wall? Maxine Dupree, 340 shards on the prize wall, 400, uh, 400, 
<laughs> Premium shards. 400 and solo, stuff. New tribal chief on the prize wall. And 400 Canadian icon Trish Stratus. Yeah, you know what I like about that? Uh, it seems like they're given shards of past S plus tiers on prize walls. And so if you miss that S plus tier, seems like you got a couple months to to maybe try and get them uh, again, unless it's OTC Roman. And then let's just hope he gets on the UCC. Yeah, well, you know me. speaking of prize walls, uh, we've got the shard some things journey, on Lee. there. Break down what else we got going on. Yeah, so we've got skill plates, the LA Bite plate, which you've seen plenty of videos this week from Champions Chat, Professor, Davey D, Sir Zorro, Merrick's Gaming, all of the, the crew that's doing them, Benny Smaja, so check those out. Uh, Thomas Chest plate, if you have Julius Magulius Creed and uh, you would like that Thomas Chest plate, he is incredible. Piper's Power, you can never have too many of those. Control Freak. We're still figuring out who that works best on, but we'll get back to you. Bite Man's Battle Armor, number of people that that's going uh, good. And then Chelsea's Entombment, as well as some shards. Uh, Sammy Zane Zombie, Solo Sokoa, New Tribal Chief. Indy Hartwell, for those who uh, remember she was a no-shard release. There's shards now. Trish Stratus, Canadian Icon. Becky Lynch, Becky Two Bites. The Two Sows, We The One. Maxine Dupree, Alpha Academy, Liv Morgan, Zombie, Ray Mysterio, Zombie, Mankind, Zombie, as well as some straps. Ultimate strap for LA Knight, ultimate strap for Bailey. And I like that LA Knight is gem damage, Bailey is move damage. You want both of those. Uh, ultimate for Bret Hart, the best there was, and an ultimate for Chelsea Green, Entombed. Other stuff is Econ, premium scale plates, moment tokens, you know some fury two medals which are great and the famous econ thank you goldie rusty what else from there what are we getting in this solo competition solo contest play the competitions and win matches in the golden challenge tour with selected superstars max milestone of 12 million solo contest rewards include 1700 la night shards 150 zombie bailey out of control shards four Rise of L.A. Knight bags, and 33 Rise of L.A. Knight medallions. Lee, the top 200 can earn more L.A. Knight Nash shards and six-star gold tokens. Which brings And why don't you keep going? Because that was such a small section. What's that? I said, why don't you keep going? That was a small section. Oh, you don't want me to have any of my chips, do you? The feud battle competition is max milestone 300 million and includes some stretch milestones of 24 class style shard bags, four of each class with up to 200,000 B tier shards of a random style. It also has 1,000 LA Knight shards, eight Rise of LA Knight medallions, 10,000 Rise of LA Knight feud loot coins. Three Rise of L.A. Knight bags, 2.125 Rise of L.A. Knight solo contest points. Top one mm. gets a four-star gold L.A. Knight. The top 800 can earn up to 2,500 uh, 2, Rise of L.A. Knight solo contest points and more class-style shards on the leaderboards. Is my mic going out? Is it really low? You're cutting in and out a little bit, yes. Oh, At man. least from my ears. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. I wonder All if right. it's my internet or what. Lee, why don't you take over on the contest superstars? I would love for you to have some chips. <laughs> uh, all right, sounds good. So here is your Feud 1 contest superstars. L.A. Knight Nah, worth a boatload of points, but obviously going to be super rare. Uh, the Usos, We the One, worth a little bit less than L.A. Knight. You see it on screen there. Also, Randy Orton, the Undead Predator. So those are your rare CSS. Your more accessible CSS include Bobby Lashley, the All Bitey, 3.3 uh, million four times, and any zombie superstar. So... More than likely, you're going to have at least the bottom two of those. The top three are a little more rare. 
Feud two, the more rare ones, would be Sami Zayn, the underdog from the underworld, Bret Hart, the best there was, Cody Rhodes, Endless Nightmare, which, my goodness, they just put him up for sale for $30 US a couple days ago. I was flabbergasted, flabbergasted, Rusty. Uh, so you might have him, and then any zombie superstar again. So if you don't catch the drift, run a zombie every single feud, pretty much. Feud three, Bailey out of Katarl control. control. Uh, Naomi, uh, Naomi, sorry, Return of the Globe. Bianca Belair, EST in peace, which they also sold her. My goodness, that was a year or so ago. I paid a lot of money to get her. She is the first character I wailed out to go for pretty much ever. Uh, her and Apollo. And then Chelsea Green entombed four times at 1.250 million. Feud four, Becky Two Bites, uh, Trish Stratus, Canadian icon, and Liv Morgan, Living Dead. And then once again, any zombie superstar. So if you haven't caught that, make sure you're running zombies every single feud to get those points. Rusty, that's the CSS, but we got a faction contest going on too. What's happening with that? Spin feud loot coins, collect medallions, and evolve and fuse superstars. Max milestone, not 50 million, Lee. 49,900,999. Million There'll be 500 million nice shards waiting for you. There'll be 200 Bailey shards waiting for you. There'll be one Rise of LA Knight medallion waiting for you. And there'll be three Rise of LA Knight bags waiting for you. Not just for you, but for you and your whole faction, too. The top 1,000 factions can earn up to 500,000 Rise of LA Knight solo contest points on the leaderboard. And if you're not in a top 1,000 faction, friends, it's what time are you even to climb doing? the ladder. It's time to say goodbye <laughs> to those you love and go look for a home elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. War score competitions. Max milestones, 750,000. And the top one on the leaderboard can get L.A. Knight Na at three-star gold and 150,000 Rise of L.A. Knight faction points for each war score competition. All right, that was that was short. Go ahead, Rusty. You got the limited time tours. No, you made me read a long one after a short one. So I'm going to make you read a long one after a short one. All right, sounds good. Limited time tours on Friday. You've got the L.A. Night Na contest superstar rewards end on Saturday. So if you've got L.A. Night by Friday, you need to beat the tour before reset Saturday. Friday, the Golden Challenge, six star. I was really hoping this was going to be next week because uh, I do not have Chelsea at six star. She has, uh, you know, a, a five star gold. I tried hard this month, but yeah. So you need any of the new zombies at six star in order to run that. Friday, the Trick or Show, modern era with any LA Knight, Bobby Lashley, the Albighty, Gunter, General Decay, and Bret Hart, best there was. Saturday, your free tier B tier entombed powerhouse tour with Chelsea Green. And then Saturday again, Dead End, which is a zombies tour. Bailey out of control. Bianca Belair, EST in peace. Liv Morgan, Living Dead. Becky Lynch, Becky Two Bites. Or Rhea Ripley, Recurring Nightmare. So most of yours still relevant on television, plus Becky, uh, lady characters that are zombies in the game. And then Sunday, we've got a special Halloween Havoc NXT event. Roxanne the Prodigy, Cora Jade, Generation of Jade. You should at least have her, more than likely. Carmelo Hayes, him. Or you should at least have Wes Lee, Rise from the Ashes. And for all of that, uh, there are 20 Rise of L.A. Knight medallions, but you got to have the new L.A. Knight to get them. There's 6.3 million Rise of L.A. Knight solo contest points, four Rise of L.A. Knight bags, and one L.A. Knight feud booster. And then we get the flash feud information. This is what I was waiting for. Rusty, take us away. I'd like to keep you waiting a little bit longer, if that's okay. 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 All right. 
<laughs> Feud one starts 1025 at six Pacific. That's Friday night. It's going to require four superstars. Top line bonus, LA Knight. Nah, middle line bonus. He used those We The One and any Acrobat. Bottom line bonus, any Zombie, any Smackdown, any Showboat, and Open. First time wins with a superstar in a brawl will give you 65,000 points. That means you want to rotate your lineup frequently for more score. Feud 2, 1026. That's our Saturday morning blog, at least in the USA. Sami Zayn. Underdog from the Underworld is the top line bonus. Four required. That's going to start at 8 a.m. Pacific on Saturday morning. Middle line bonus. Bret Hart, the best there was. Zombie at six star. Any powerhouse at six star for middle line. Any zombie six star. Any tech. Any striker. And open for that bottom line bonus. And again, please remember to rotate your superstars. You can get 65,000 points per win. For first time wins. Feud 3 first is time. our Saturday evening Feud, at least in the U.S., 6 p.m. Pacific start time, four required, and it's a female feud. Bailey's the top line bonus, out of control. Middle line bonus is Naomi, return of the glow at six star, and any trickster, six star. Bottom line is going to require a five star zombie, any SmackDown, any powerhouse, and open. And you want to rotate those superstars for 65,000 points for first time wins. Feud for Sunday morning, Sunday, 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 6 a.m. Pacific in the U.S. of A. Becky Lynch, Becky Two Bites, top line bonus. Middle line, Trish, Canadian icon, six star in any powerhouse at six star. Bottom line bonus, any zombie at five star, any NXT and any striker and an open spot. Again, those first time wins are going to give you 65,000 points. Per victory. Now, Lee. Rusty. Yeah. You said rotate your superstars. I just want to make a clarification because when I was newer at the game, I thought I literally had to use a character and then go to my roster page, put somebody else in, and it only counted if I had changed to a superstar on my roster. I had never used that entire feud. That is not the case. You just you go into a battle. You do the battle, use each of your roster characters, come back out of the battle, and they count as fresh again, just to make sure people are aware of that. I think That's we all got it, but you know. I don't know if anyone I got confused ever before. made that mistake other than you, but uh, I, I did that. No, yeah, I'm that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lee, <clears throat> what if they don't pull LA Knight? Can they still get him for free? Can we come up with a Ooh. way for our friends to get a free LA Knight? Please. Hmm. I would love to hear it that way. I, I think the way that you could do that is to go on to the forum using that little button that's right there. Of course, you can't click it if you're watching on YouTube. You got to go to the blog read, but uh, click on that. Go to the official forum and give constructive feedback. And as always, constructive feedback can be like, I didn't like this. But if you're going to say, I didn't like this, you got to add in a little bit of a like, and here's what I would have liked to see better. Here's how I would have tweaked it. You can always, of course, just say, hey, I liked everything. Great job. But, you know, it's up to you whether you want to be positively constructive or negatively constructive. Just don't be destructive and everything's terrible. I hate everyone. The world is ending. <laughs> That's where they stop paying attention to it. Yeah. Start your yeah. posts this weekend with, if I were the community manager, this is what I oh, would shit. do. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> please. Please. Oh, Let's yes. And as been fun. pointed out in the chat, there is no steel cage rules. So right off the bat, you can say, I liked that there was no steel cage. Or I really wish there would have been steel cage rules. I don't know how you write. I, I don't know what's in your brain. Yep. Yep. Well, Friends, that's it for this weekend contest walkthrough. I forgot to say at the very beginning that this is no mere blog read. This is a weekend contest walkthrough. A WCW where the big boys play. So we will see you nah. next time, friends. Bye. Woo. Uh -huh.